Daily news, breaking news on Prince Amila Entertainment TV. Subscribe to the channel. Remember, guys, follow us on all our social media platforms on Instagram, Prince Amila Entertainment, Facebook, Prince Amila Entertainment, Facebook group, Prince Amila Entertainment TV. We're available on Twitter, at P Amila ENT. Follow us on Twitter. We follow back. Today is the 12th of our November uh, 2021. And so, guys, latest news here armed robbery cases continue to rise across the country after robbers uh, got away with the cumulative uh, 32,300 US dollar and uh, 37,600 runs in five separate incidents this week amid calls for law enforcement agencies to, to step up their fight against the scourge. In Rusape, a Christ Mambo High School official was seriously injured after he was shot by one of 11 armed robbers who raided the school on Sunday and got away with the Toyota Alex Twin Cape vehicle and uh, over 5,000 US dollar cash and uh, 14,350 and a bond. A shop owner in the branch of Mukuru Money Transfer Agency lost over 18,000 US dollar and 37,500 rands in Norton while a businessman lost uh, 5,000 US dollar in Jombe. Police said in Usape, the 11 robbers were armed with uh, four pistols when they raided the school before they shoot the school official in the chest. The official was seriously injured and has since been taken to a local hospital for treatment. No arrests have been made and investigations are in progress. National Police Spokesperson Assistant Commissioner Ponyati confirmed the incident saying officers countrywide had been heavily deployed to thwart criminal activities. Police in Usape are investigating a robbery case which occurred on uh, November 7, 2021 at Christ Mambo High School. 11 suspects armed with four firearms pounds on the school and stole 5,134 US dollar and uh, 14,350 pound and uh, Toyota Alex Twin Cape vehicle. One member of the school staff was seriously injured after being shot in the chest. The stolen motor vehicle was recovered at Bridge Store in Azura on November 8, 2021, parked on the side of the road. He said, he appeared for anyone with information to assist with the investigations by contacting the nearest police station. In Norton, police are investigating a robbery case which occurred at a grocery shop and Mukuru money transfer shop at Katanga Business Center on Monday morning. Six armed robbers attacked a 40-year-old shop owner and attended 31 before stealing 18,537 US dollar and 37,500 rands cash. Police are investigating a robbery case which occurred at Maoko village in Jombe at about 19.30 hours on Sunday when a business couple was attacked by three robbers who were armed with three pistols. The suspects fired two shots into the air before they struck their husband once on the head with a wheel spanner and stole cash amounting to 5,100 uh, US dollar cash, a Wonder Fit vehicle and two ITO cell phones. The vehicle was later recovered near Sikaden Secondary School, Aston Commissioner Nyad said. Police are also investigating another robbery case which occurred at uh, 2100 hours on Tuesday in Kaduma. Five robbers attacked a 25-year-old pilot taxi driver and stole unregistered Honda Fit vehicle, three cell phones, and 1,800 US dollar cash. Three robbers had hired the complaint from Rumuka to Kaduma CBD before two other suspects intercepted the vehicle along the way. In a later case, police in Harare are investigating circumstances surrounding a robbery case which occurred on Tuesday at the residence near the intersection of Samora Mashaw Avenue and Idim Nangagwa Road. Three suspects robbed the complaint of 5,500 US dollar and uh, 600 rand in the 44 inch television set and two cell phones. Last week, Home Affairs and Cultural Heritage Minister Kazembe Kazembe said government remained gravely concerned about the continued surge in violent crimes. I therefore call upon the therapy to redouble efforts and summon all operational ingenuity to come up with policing initiatives. He said the fear of crime, especially of violent crimes, keeps citizens apprehensive and stifles business growth. It is also a fact that modern policing increasingly operates under public scrutiny and this calls for enhanced accountability. So guys, in a year policing, I still think that, uh, you know, in order for our police officers to actually do the job, uh, they need uh, resources because these guys, 
they are getting away and uh, and uh, some of these guys uh, they've been operating in, in south africa and they're now coming to, to zimbabwe to do the same thing they do here and it's like what you make out of the those are good and the imbalance you come from south africa to check with zimbabwe and they know that in zimbabwe it's a bit easy because many people are relaxed and again most of these guys i think watch to see what you think in the mari patch core packet panel mari ripo a business packet panel mari nengeri nengeri information nengi shingo va kwa shanti na shande papo karauti ama yo nungwa uzo tandine mari atu waka chakati because there's no way imbalance no way from nowhere Tengo wea nefuti kwa kuro bachete Wanengu wa chozi wa kutoti unemari Wanengu wa uzi kwa kana watipani muna Wanengu wa uza Wanengu wa uza Wanengu wa uza And some of these guys who are committing crime Wanu wa chozi wa uza Wanu wa community area So if you know these people You need to report them to the police And you know Yeah, we report to police. We don't support Umbava. And the Umbava, we are going to work here. And it seems like nowadays, now you put your Rwanda, your Rwanda singaite. I still think it's because of the border and the Big Bridge border post. I'm not sure here before that many people are smuggling a lot of things into Zimbabwe. And some of the things which are being smuggled are guns. Because here in South Africa, you can easily get a gun. You know, compared to Zimbabwe, could you want to put in Zimbabwe? I don't know what you want to copy, but in South Africa, it's easily accessible. So, most of these guys they are smuggling them to Zim and commit crime there. We want to watch what is the foot back here to South Africa. So, I'm telling you, we need to report uh, this kind of uh, situation. And these robbers are, you know, increasing. Many people may say it maybe it's Christmas time whatsoever, but no, even January. And so, let's hope our law enforcement will do their job. And apprehend these criminals. We don't need people like this in our communities. And what are you doing? And then I'm going to go to So, guys, this is a daily news, breaking news, everyday news on Prince Miller Entertainment TV. And yeah, Mr. Woods, I'm going to go to Nemari, 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 Nemari. Keep it to yourself. And uh, I know most people they don't trust our local banks. That's why I'm trying to make sure that we don't make like this because no one wants to deposit five thousand at a local bank because I was a total yes effort. So I'm trying to make sure that many people are becoming uh, a risk of being robbed because a marriage thing is changing. So I'm trying to make sure that we don't 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 so at the in the comment section remember guys to follow us on all our social media platforms instagram facebook and also on our facebook group which is a prince miller entertainment tv this is daily news everyday news breaking news and you can turn on the notification bell not to miss and for new uploads at no upload the pan up each and every hour each and every day daily news everyday news breaking news on prince miller entertainment tv bless up